Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about when the next cold Arctic outbreak is going to be taking place in the United States. We know, we all know, looking at this picture, this is the past Arctic outbreak from January 29th through about now. Uh, we've been going through this really extreme Arctic outbreak from the Dakotas down through Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, Chicago, of course, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Wisconsin, Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, all of you have been extre extremely below average as far as temperature goes, extreme cold, we've all been hearing destroys, we all know it happens, it's been all over the news. Uh, when will we have our next Arctic outbreak that is anywhere close to this, half as cold, if that, uh, but it would still be extremely cold, obviously. Uh, this was in, in an extreme anomaly. This doesn't happen every year. So very, very cold uh, on that one. We're going to we're gonna move on one year. And, and you can see it's going to warm up, actually, for a lot of those areas, with the exception of Montana and North Dakota. Portions of you say a little bit cold, but nowhere near as cold. By the 3rd of February, you can see a lot of warmth there through Kansas, uh, up through Nebraska, Missouri, Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and portions of Michigan as well. Very warm, but really warm aloft uh, everywhere in the in the you know, except for the extreme northern United States here by the third. Uh, and by the 5th, you can see that cold is starting to creep back. And this is our first little advance of Arctic air uh, that makes its way down into Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, Wisconsin, areas like you. You see those pinks? That's where we're looking at, you know, anywhere from 15 to maybe 20 degrees below average in that area. Uh, again, not as cold as the last Arctic outbreak, but it will be quite cold. And you can see warm for the southern and eastern United States, south and east of those locations. Uh, and then we see by the 6th, it kind of retreats a little bit. The Dakotas, uh, Nebraska, Wyoming, Montana, you're still really cold though, but warm uh, for more of those eastern areas that have been getting this cold weather. But by the 8th, the cold makes its second approach here. And we can see that Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Iowa, Indiana, Illinois, were all extremely cold. Those pinks indicate very, very cold temperatures below uh, 20, 20 degrees below average or more. So very, very cold, uh, probably the second coldest Arctic outbreak this year so far, if this is to pan out this way. Uh, and it does look like we will have a cold phase after all this warm-up. So we're going to be hearing about a warm-up here uh, over the next few days until about the 5th. Then we're going to see a cool-down there for the central United States. A little bit of a retreat and then another cool-down. And this is the big, the big one uh, by the 8th. And that lasts until about the... 10th maybe now we're going to see if this has ensemble support and this is your GEFS so this is your GFS ensemble model uh, and here we go and it looks the same by the 8th and an ensemble model is a model uh, that is comprised of many models and it takes the mean average of all of those and that's what we see here uh, on the map and this tends to be more accurate in long range than the normal GFS model and we can see that this does back the very cold temperatures by the 8th so that's a really good sign for this to pan out and you can see that the the Canadian ensemble model the GEPS uh, also agrees here not that it even matters if it agrees I just wanted to show that another model also agrees but this has no correlation to the GFS really uh, but we do have cold temperatures according to this model by the 8th as well anyway guys that, I hope that answers some questions some people were wondering when the next cold outbreak is going to be and that's when I expect it 5th through 6th and uh, then by the 8th, we get really, really cold, uh, even colder than we are on the 5th and the 6th. But really warm for those first five days of February. Anyway, guys, have a great first uh, 10 days of your February.